All right, so we know inflation rates are on the rise. Let's look at the real estate market where we've been this past 12 months as well. And typically we see the real estate market is going to kind of outpace inflation rates. And that's what we're seeing right now. So if we look back over the trailing 12 months, Houston real estate market saw another record year. That's not surprising to anybody who's been in the market. It's been extremely tight for home buyers. Home sellers are getting top dollar multiple offers. It's just going bananas. And to back that up with some statistical data, all year last year, we saw total home sales actually were up 10%, 10.3% exactly over the last previous year. We've seen that the average price of a single family home in Houston went over $390,000 for the first time in history. It was up 16% year over year. At the same time with that, our inventory was pretty much depleted. We saw an all time low of 1.4 months worth of available inventory on the market. That's what has driven the real estate prices up so high is that buyer demand has remained steady, if not gone up, because people are moving here from all over the country because of the great jobs market and other factors we'll talk about. But so already kind of going into this, we've been in this real estate market, this just, it's been extremely tight. And so as we see inflation rates going up, um, historically real estate has been a great way to hedge against inflation. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So right now, that's what we're experiencing. We've got inflation rates kicking up, um, home prices are on the rise, um, and really, we don't see this changing anytime soon. I mean, it, money's not gonna get any cheaper. So let's talk about interest rates because specifically this is what's gonna drive the real estate market going forward. So if we look back in the fall, like October, November of 2021, we were looking at 30 year fixed interest rates hovering around three, 3.1%. So at that time, the Fed started talking about how they're gonna pull back as far as purchasing mortgages off the secondary market that was gonna rise interest rates as we went into 2022, and we've seen that happen. So already in the first quarter of 2022, we've seen at least a 1% increase in interest rates. So beginning of March, we saw them go over that time from about 3.1% up to about four, 4.1%. And then really over the last couple of weeks in March, we've seen that even go up further to about four and a half, four point six percent 4.6%. In some cases, depending on credit, they've even edged closer to 5%. Definitely seeing interest rates rise. Now that's going to impact the home buyer out there because essentially it's cutting back on their purchasing power and what they can afford because it ties directly into their monthly payment. For example, if even a 1% increase an interest rate, if you're looking at a $300,000 to $350,000 home purchase, that's gonna swing your mortgage payment anywhere from 200 bucks to $250 a month. So we're talking about real money here when you guys are looking at what your interest rates are and your affordability and purchasing power in the market. We've got pretty much everything on the rise. Inflation is on the rise. Real estate home values are on the rise. Interest rates are on the rise. If you are able to jump in, lock something down, and a, a fixed mortgage interest rates, the good news for you is your payment is not gonna change. Change. As inflation goes up and the power of the dollar goes down, your payment stays the same. The other good thing is that we've seen historical appreciation rates in Houston, so your investment is protected in that regard as well. So it really is a safe, protected investment, and that's for your primary residents. Those of you who are investors, man, rents are going to go up along with inflation rates to keep up. So those rental rates, you can continually increase, and you're going to be able to have a much prettier return on your investment there as well. Historically, real estate's been a safe investment in times of inflation. I still think it's the same way. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you can look at this as bad news, but the truth is, is it's not going to get any cheaper anytime soon. I don't see inflation rates changing drastically over the next, you know, four to six months. I don't see mortgage interest rates changing over the next four to six months. Home values are going to keep going up. The biggest number one indicator and driver of the real estate market and home values are jobs. And last year, Houston outpaced the national average in terms of the growth rate for local jobs. Houston was at 14.1% increase in jobs compared to the national average of 5%. That's huge. I mean, we've got guys like ExxonMobil who are bringing their headquarters here. HP has their headquarters here. The medical growth we've seen around here. Macy's Monster Retailer is building a 900,000 square foot facility in Tomball. That's massive jobs. I mean, so people are going to continue to flock to Houston. We've got over 250 people every day that are moving this way. That's going to keep the demand very, very steady. So is it a good time to buy real estate? Of course it is. And it's actually a great time because you want to lock these interest rates in before they continue you to go up over the long haul because again your payment stays the same no matter what happens to inflation. 
So at the end of the day, we're gonna continue to see some rising inflation. Home values are gonna go up. We have such low inventory in the market and the demand is gonna keep going. So I don't see this changing anytime soon. If you guys are out there, you're thinking about getting into real estate, now's the time to give me a call. Reach out to me direct, call, text, email, leave a comment below, get in touch with me any way that you can. I wanna be a resource and an advocate for you guys and help you with anything that you need. So thank you for watching. I hope you got some good information out of this. Check out some of our other videos and we will catch up with you real soon. Make it a great day.